So today my throat decided to be mean to me, and I figure why put up with that when I can just have Dice be mean to me instead, as I'm trying to build a village on these islands. We just start with a little plot of land. Actually little, because it's only two star. But that's big enough to give us two rock places like this, and the people get to work. I also love that the money was just constantly building even before the people were in. But that money lets us buy a barn, which is hopefully a good one. Ooh, it is! Four stars! I like it! Just plant that in a good spot, as in anywhere. And there's also a gold rock right next to us, so give us free money! So with a four star barn, our total capacities are 3,000 for everything. I like it. But we also need to build up our capacity for wheat, Oh yeah, four star field, this is good. Maybe the dice aren't as mean as I thought they were, but we need a place for the fields. So let's just establish them over here, I guess, and then set up a windmill to process all of that into food. A three star windmill. I actually think I prefer this because that means that we're getting positive wheat. Well, not positive anymore. And we're actually only getting half food every second. So we'll need a few more of these. Just slap the dice down in there. Another four star field, oh my goodness. I can't express my excitement properly, but we're getting eight every second and then two are going down from the windmills. But hey, that means food is in the positive as well. Nice, hopefully we can keep this up for a while and hopefully we can get the shrine established pretty quickly as well because that will let us unlock the mines and we'll have a good spot for the mines right here. We also have three rocks at our disposals. Well, I say three, but two are in the zone and that one's right here for me to just click repeatedly. But we can establish one of these as a quarry, a crit fail quarry. That's a name if I ever heard one. Let's just put that in there and then get another one going right away because I want it. Uh, two star. Okay, not the greatest, but that gives us four rocks every second, which is better than it was before. And then the last thing we really need is a market to get some good gold income. Ooh, three star. Okay, I like that. I can go right there. Extra three gold every second, plus whatever I find from the rocks that are scattered around here on so many of these various islands. Aha! And also some of these crystal rocks that are trying to hide in the trees. And these islands are looking pretty good for us. We also have some strong islands here. Making that joke before a certain engineer does. And some berry bushes for food. Not that that's really an issue, but the more crystals that we collect, the sooner we, that we can harvest the mines. And that is just a weird phrase for just buying it in the shop. Don't question it. Just allow me to click this repeatedly so I can get above a thousand there. And I also found out that apparently erasing trees gives us wood every time. Look at that. It's only one wood. Or I guess it's a little random every time it does it. But that means that we can do some deforesting. Although the easier way to do that is just to set up a sawmill, a two-star sawmill for us. So we get extra three wood per second. And then with a few more crystal rocks like this one and the one over there, Ooh, and some gold rocks over here. Now we have enough crystals to afford the mine once we get the shop set up. Just need to wait for a thousand wood and a thousand gold. Thankfully, I don't have to wait very long and the shrine goes in pretty quickly. Not sure what the different star rate- What? That's a nat 20 shrine. Oh, I hope it gives good things. I was just saying that I don't know if the dice roll makes a difference on the quality of the shrine. But we got a nat 20 shrine. Does that mean I can just get something for free, please? Well, we have a progression tree and thanks to being level five, you can get the mine right away. And might as well just get a few of these other things like extra experience so we can get levels faster which will let us buy more things down the road like the forges since one of the things that we can get from the mines ooh, 15 zone nice and big as i was saying one of the things that we can get from the mine is ore which will let us make iron ingots and we can do something with that but we also need more workers for the mine so here comes a food dilemma again just need to get a good quality house for hopefully a lot of people oh four star nice it's a double decker sadly that just steals a lot of food from the stores and we do not have enough wood to fund another windmill so let's just go ahead and do some deforesting of a small region up here these clicks have to be very precise with the trees but i also want some berries because free food Ooh, we leveled up from that there we go 200 wood new windmill is a two star Okay, that puts us in the positive again, but now we need another field, which costs 150 wood. Ay, ay, ay. If we get trees from a strong island, does that mean that the trees are strong as well? I'm also really nervous about putting in this mine because, yes, it produces coal and ore, but a five-star one produces crystals. That would be so good. Although it really is a roll of the dice if I get it or not, so let's see. And it's 12. Okay, well, better than nothing. Just put that in, giving us three coal and one ore every second. Well, we do get some experience by building buildings like extra lumber yards to 
produce more wood and by harvesting things like these berry bushes for some spare change experience. And this last house should put me over being level 10. Oh, it's a four star house too. Very nice way to top it all off. And the food isn't even going negative anymore. But at least now that we're level 10, we can get some of these things before regressing, like an experience multiplier, a garden, and a few more of these things like extra wood and rocks and also buying new throw effects. I'm thinking the physical throw would be fun to look at. Oh, and actually if we just get a few more crystals, we can get that last level five upgrade and one more crystal rock to give us 24 so I can get one extra gold from every gold source. Okay, now it's time to regress. Ooh, that gets us level 15 right away and a lot of gems too. Yes. So now that we're level 15, we'll get three times speed, extra peasants, and a fishing hut. Oh, and we can actually use gems to buy some fancy dice. Ooh, like the crystal dice. I like that. So let's regress and then see how we do this time. And then use our newfound upgrades to advance even faster. Just got to roll a... Ooh, look at this. It doesn't look like crystal dice, but maybe it does something fancy. Oh, well, let's just throw it. Whoa. <laughs> it literally just throws it. Oh, that's monstrous. Ooh, 17. Oh, I like that. I actually really like that. I like the throwing effect and everything. So we can encompass all of these stones and that mining spot right away. So I wonder if I just line this up and then yeet. Oh, 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 oh. it really eats it. Uh oh, watch out. Oh, it just rolls on top of the trees too. So what I get. A nine. Interesting. That's so fun. I like throwing the dice now. Oh, and I set that up the wrong way. Whoops. All right. Let the dice do its thing. I wonder if I could rig the dice rolls like this. That gives us a three star garden that we'll just put right over here. Aha. And that establishes food without the need for a wheat field. Ooh, that's very nice. But it requires two workers. I mean, with the amount of windmills that I needed, it really comes out to two workers anyway. But look at this. Just a little bit more waiting and some minor deforesting and a tinge of mark. Marketing. Oh, look out, little guy. Oh, the dice almost crushed him. Oh, you too. Oh, ah, that was almost a 19. Oh, oh. <laughs> he just bumped it to 11. Oh, I love you. Okay, but we just set in a market to give us some gold. Oh, I love that. I need to take advantage of that. Just need to find a high traffic area and then yeet a dice into it. So I would have to wait for the gold to pile up, but three times speed means that it goes very quickly. And now we can get a shrine right away. Just got a whoops into a high traffic area. Oh, I just bowled right through them. Never mind. But come on. Oh, not quite a 20, but a 14 is pretty good. Th four star good, which really doesn't matter for a shrine, but I digress. So now we have access to the upgrades once we get to level 20. We also just need a few more things going for us right now, like a sawmill. So I'm not sure the rigging does work as well because it kind of just starts hovering like that. And then, oh, ooh, 16. Hey, I'll take that. Four star lumber mill. Yes, please. Giving us five wood every second. Oh, that's so better than before. Now I think it's time for us to make use of all these quarries we have. Hopefully you gain a good star level quarry while we're at it. Oh, 13. I like it. Anything above a 10, I think it's four stars. So I like it. And it also gives us five rocks every second. And we can also get food by setting up a fishing hut. But we need to build next to the water for that. Thankfully, the quarry gives us to 200 rocks that we need. So we just give the dice a big old yeet and we get... 11, a three star zone. Okay, so it looks like 12 and up is four star. I honestly kind of forget. But the main thing is that we can build a fishing hut now as long as we had another worker. So that means we just put in a house and hopefully it's a good house. And it looks like it's going to be, oh, eight star or three star from an eight roll. Not the worst thing. Gives us three workers to do something with. And now we just go ahead and give the dice another yeet to see how good the fishing hut is. That was a very strong yeet. And oh, 18, let's go. Ooh, that's five stars? What? I don't think it works like that. Okay, 18 is a five star fishing hut. I like that. Gives us five food every second. Oh yeah, that's so good. And we can also do a little bit of fishing on our own. And then just click like crazy until we get the fish. Oh, that's a big fish. 143 centimeters? That's over three feet, right? Well, it gives us 50 food. Ooh, and some XP. Oh, this is how we get to level 20. And getting... Oh, I thought that was a blobfish for a second. But nope, it's a sea rough, which is very good for experience gain. Just seem to find a spot for bubbles. There we go. Just do this one more time for another pink salmon. Okay, that's enough of that for a while. And now we can set up a mine after just a little bit of waiting because rocks. So if an 18 is five stars, then 
That should increase our odds of getting a good quality mine. Oh, not quite. Four stars. Well, that's better than nothing. It still gives us four coal and two ore every second. And now I need to bring in more workers. But before I do that, let's go ahead and set up some wheat fields. Oh, oh, that was almost a 19 weed field. Are you kidding me? Fine, we'll start off with something. But we need another something like right away. Thank you very much, game. Just nestle it right in the trees for a two star field. Yay. I would much rather set up gardens, but they don't produce as much food and they require two workers. That is the dumbest thing. We'll go with one more field. Just a big thundering. No, oh, why did you have to stop there? All right, but now we're getting six wheat every second so once we add another house of ooh five star quality let's go oh man just look at this thing next to the other house that i built this is a mansion that's definitely getting us a level up to 17 and our food is actually still in the positive wow maybe i don't need a windmill that just means more workers that I have at my disposal. And let's see, as far as gems go, I would need 150 to buy everything. So if I just find enough of these rocks, then that should get me there. But that will take a while. At least there's crystals that grow right in the middle of our village, like this one here. But I can increase our odds if we build somewhere in range of another mine. Just, oh, okay, that dice is going into the ocean. See you later. Oh, gosh, it's still going. Uh, I made a mistake. And I don't know what I rolled. Oh, it's a one. That's kind of what I get, I think. But we'll just extend this way because there's a quarry next to that mine as well. Speaking of quarry, why don't I just set up another one? Hi yeah, Rolling the dice where I can actually see it. And, ugh, that's so close to a 20. Four stars is also good. At least it gives us a lot of XP. Although all that XP is very small in the grand scheme of things. But we can set up another zone right away. Hopefully, good size. Don't you dare. Oh, it had to be a two. I guess anything above one star is good. All right, but now we can reach this mine. Oh my goodness. That takes 2,000 of everything. I guess another quarry is warranted. Rolling the dice down the hill hopefully gives us a good number. And of course it doesn't. But we are getting 15 stone every second. So that's fine, I guess. I just need to make sure I have two workers available when I build this thing. And it'd probably be a good idea for me to build another barn because our food has reached capacity. And I don't like that. I'd rather just keep stockpiling. But we get a one star barn. I bet that won't even give us 1,000. It gives us 500. That is the worst thing. Definitely building another one of those when I get the chance and really flinging the dice this time. Whee! There it goes. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 17. That also just costs a lot of money to make. So I need another market. Gives us eight gold per second. So whoop-de-doo. Let's just speed up time and make this go by a lot faster. A few moments later. Okay, here we go. Enough things to build another mine. And I have enough workers. So hopefully we roll a good one. hi -ya! That's it. Good rolls. Keep going. Oh, no! You were on a 19! I saw that! Uh, well, at least I get to see the minecart do some weird things over this rock. But that really didn't give us a lot of XP anymore. So we can just actually regress one more time and then get to level 20 right away. Yeah, I'll do it. And the crystal dice really wasn't that spectacular looking, so let's just get a gold one. And using all of our hard-earned gems to just buy all the upgrades that we have left. So now we have every single upgrade and we just regress one more time. And where should we set up this time? I mean, this is the only island I haven't set up on yet. I feel like I have to. The strongest island colony ever. Ooh, gold dice is looking very almost not gold like, but oh, an 18 zone is a good start. Definitely. That almost covers a whole island. Oh my goodness. So we just do that. Hopefully the villagers started somewhere not in the water. Uh, hello, villagers. Oh no. Oh, they're drowning. Actually, I don't think they have the capacity to drown. Look at them. Look at their little faces. I don't know what drowning is, but we just start things up like we were doing with a good quality barn. And now we can actually set up a farm to produce leather. Interesting. And I think building a, a fishing hut right away is the best possible outcome just because of how much food it gives. Especially, oh, come on. The dice are changing the rules every time. It definitely would have been a 14 every other time. But that's giving us three food every second, which is good because we're not losing food anymore. And there's plenty of gold in these outcroppings of rocks as well as crystals, which we don't really need anymore. And now we have just like a little guy on top of the mountain and he has no idea if he should be carrying something or not. Oh, you poor little thing. 
We can just pick you up and bring you right back down. There you go. Maybe I should help your friends out as well because uh, they definitely seem better days. Come on out of the water there. There we go. And then you as well. There should be one more. There's an in heaven counter for the people. That hasn't happened yet, has it? Where are the rest of the people? There you are. Just get you out of the hills there. And then that should be everybody, right? Okay, this dice is going into the water again for a market. Hopefully it, well, that's kind of what I get. Uh, it's better than nothing. Also surprised that there wasn't a purchase for the four speed option and it's still grayed out. Okay, unless there's something new if I were to buy a shrine and roll a dice at three times speed. But ooh, that gives us a 17, which of course doesn't matter for the shrines. So now if I look at the progression tree, yeah, there's nothing new. But since I just spent all my resources, I have to wait even longer to build a mine properly. At least I would if I didn't set up other things like sawmills, which are questionable quality. Three stars just doesn't hit like it used to. But the sawmills and the quarries are in place, which boosts our numbers a considerable amount as it is. And now I think it's time I set up some weed fields because that's the best source of food as far as workers are concerned. Just gonna go ahead and set up a few fields before I do that. Hopefully they all amount to being good. Well, that's another five. So let's just bash our dice on the side of a mountain. And ooh, 13. I like it. That's pulling eight wheat but giving us four food per second nice getting some actual food production now which is good insurance for when i bring in another house to get more workers and oh a five star house yes giving our people the mansion and surprisingly we're still getting positive food production from all these new people we have so why don't we go ahead and increase our food gain even more by setting up another fishing hut because fishing huts are amazing and the dice just rolling amongst everything is great too oh yeah 17 set you up right next to this one very good lots of food gains from that i wonder if there's any new fish i haven't gotten yet just gonna move the lure into this guy's territory or at least somewhere that the fisher enticed there we go there we go there we go hey yeah oh ooh, a big salmon nothing new but i still like catching big fish also i don't know what i did but now all the pickup things in the world are spawning beacons okay moment of truth let's see if we can get a five star mine throwing it at the mine spot for good luck and definitely not good luck well we need this in order to build a forge anyway and oh my gosh the forge is expensive but it produces iron bars every minute it, and it requires two workers okay and it consumes gold as well i really hope the iron bars are good for something or else this whole venture is going to feel very pointless because i only have one mine available to me on this island i would need to bridge to the mainland here well bigger island and get access to that mine over there well, let's just see how bad this is nope. so we not enough people i see house first Oh, that was a really hard throw. And it bounces into the water. Oh, dear. Okay, at least I can still see it. And we get... Ooh, Nat 20 house! Five-star luxurious living all day. We'll just give them a nice ocean view of the other island. But that's good for us. And we're still not going negative in food production i like it and that still gives us all the resources we need to build the forge so hopefully it's a good forge that was kind of a bad roll and it gives us a 10 okay three star forge it's a start what the under construction are you telling me i will have put in all of this work just for something that isn't complete yet i mean it's given us three ingots per minute so that's a good thing i would have much rather put the ore towards grain of metal dice so yay forge isn't complete yet i guess we'll just have to see if they update the game and whatever the forge produces from that i mean at the very least we got some five star houses for our people and we can also set up a farm which consumes bread times two times two times two that's eight bread but hey the crystal dice is looking better now that we can actually adjust the color of it three star farm which needs a little plot of land that can go right over here oh look at those cows <laughs> they're just beef cubes and now we're getting leather even though leather isn't really supported by anything up here amazing what an unfinished game will do for you those cows are the dumbest looking things ever and i love them well it seems that's everything that this game has for us in its current state so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll just have to see what the ingots and leather will give for us whenever this game gets updated next so make sure you subscribe to not miss that if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching sub to intern i'd also like to thank the channel members including bread mr cripple one ancient elixir one corby farm dakota c donamoto devion x muffin suffer lucas s splatter sacks the real nickname edward hateful harold peggy sue droop along tj seriously sarcastic angel and lily bites